Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Uh, my name's Kyla and today's going to be a nice quick simple design space tutorial on how to clean up images that you've uploaded from Google. So let's get into it. First we're going to go into Google Chrome or whatever internet browser you've got. And then I'm just going to search O Boo Colouring Pages. And I always search colouring pages because it's the black and white image. And I'm going to go with Maybe this one. So I'm going to right click this and save image as just Obu and that'll just automatically save to my pictures. And then we're going to go back over to Cricut and click new project. So you can click new project down here under your projects or new project up here at the top. So I'm just going to click in and start a new project here. I'm going to upload, upload image and just browse for that image that we've just saved. Open it up and when I'm um, editing the image in design space I always choose complex. So we'll do that and then we're just going to get rid of all the white in the background. I'm just going to zoom in to make sure we've got everything. And then we'll just preview it so that you can see. So as you can see, there's all the little dots on the image. And I mean, you can either go in and go erase just size your thing down a bit and just do it this way but every time you have to go back in and preview cut image to know where you need to clean up and that's going to take you a long time so I'll show you an easier way just go cancel and go back to the start upload upload image and then browse so we're going to go complex because I always do complex and hit continue and so yeah the previous time we just cleared out all the white parts and that's what left all the spotty marks and the lines and dots so now because I'm not a Cricut Access member yet, I'm still doing free Cricut Design Space. So you go to more option and you're going to reduce the colours to two because you've only got a black and white image. So there's only two colours there. Then you're going to change your colour tolerance to 100. And I always find this works best for me. And now you're going to go in and get rid of all the grey area. Just the same as you did the before with the white. And again, I'm just going to zoom in just to make sure that I've got everything. preview it and as you can see there's no lines or any dots or anything on this one and that's what we want so I'm going to apply and continue 
save it as a cut image and upload it. I'm going to go in and upload the other one again just as the how we did it the first time just so that we can have them side by side and see the difference. zoom in to make sure we've got everything. And then I'm going to apply and continue and as you can see here that's the one that we didn't want. So I'm just going to change that to spotty. So now I'm going to put that, the ugly one in. Let me just take the lines out of the background. And then I'll also upload the clean um, image. And you can see the difference there. So if this video was helpful for you in any way, please like and subscribe to my channel. This is going to be a series, so I'm going to show you in my next video how to change this to a multiple color image. So if you're interested in that, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when that video comes out. And thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you. Bye.